All right, we're live. Excellent, excellent, fantastic. Hey, just so you know, I got a new microphone here. Big boy, new mic, new Yeti. Let me know how the microphone is sounding, looking. Let me know, okay? Also, I put up here, right here in the chat, thesubscribetribe.com. You can sign up for our email list and you'll get notifications for when I go live. In fact, we've got some people on the email list now, so I sent them right to their inbox so they know I'm going live right now. Not tomorrow, not today, but now, because credit pair starts now. So they know that we're good. Hey, that sounds sounds good. Microphone sounds good. Hello, Brandon. Mike's good. Hello, 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 hello. This is fantastic. The Subscribe Tribe is coming in space and we're always coming together. We're always, you know, everybody's flowing in together, right? So letting a few people, sounds good, Showtime, good. Uh, we're letting a few people come in here, but I'm going to get right into it because I know people will be watching the live, uh, the, the playback, and they want to get into it. They want to know what the heck is going on. So I'm going to say hello to the Subscribe Tribe as you come in. You can put your questions up and we're going to get right into the good uh, details of this information of people getting a 145 point boost. Okay. <laughs> Chris Jones, Mike's good. I can hear your heartbeat. All right. Excellent. Uh, again, uh, the subscribe trap.com. If you want to get on the email list, so you get emailed directly from me when I go live on the weekends, usually it's around this time. Okay. Been busy. Been busy in the office, in the office right now. Okay. You know, don't be showing nothing, Jerome, okay? Don't be showing no pertinent details about people's sense of information. We take it very seriously. We have very uh, strict codes. We have, um, wow, Robert, see, here's a brand in my score went up 100 points on TransUnion within 30 days. That's fantastic. Um, we make sure things are going uh, very, very solid. And then uh, someone said, hello. That's funny. All right. Great. Everything's going very solid. We keep it very private, okay? So your stuff is very secure with bank-level encryption. Uh, theawesomelifegroup.com, where we can do it for you, or 609creditrepair.com. You can do it for yourself. You get the email support with me. But let's get into it, okay? Uh, Gary Simon, he wrote in. This is March 5th, 2019. I got the email here. I got the email here, okay? He writes in. He says, update. Okay, Brandon? Update. Since I emailed you this morning, TransUnion deleted Commonwealth Financial Services and my TransUnion score shot up 145 points to 786. And what we're going to say, wow, price, price, Yanis Bond, yes, Yasharla, sorry if I pronounce that wrong. My score went up 137 points on TransUnion. Damn, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. This individual with the letters, do it yourself, 609creditpair.com, score shot up 145 points to 786. And so we're going to talk about how this individual can get into the 800s pretty quickly, okay? For TransUnion. I think, and then everyone will, will be able to know. I think it was a combination of filing with a complaint with the CFPB, okay? And sending out my uh, my uh, round of letters, okay? The next round of letters. So CFPB at the same time, okay? Sent both at the same time. Keeping in mind, I started in Late November, you know, we've got the, the holiday time. Late November, now it's March. With TransUnion score was 602 with six collections in November for this individual. Okay, Gary had a 602 with six collections in November. After round one of letters with the three bureaus, I was able to finally get a credit card again. All right, one round of letters for him. 30 days, was able to get one, sorry, three, yeah, three credit cards uh, was able to get three credit cards right away. They deleted four bogus, nasty, unverified collection accounts on the first round. I followed your advice. I was able to get three credit cards right away. Now, we've talked about utilizing three cards to get into the highest brackets of your credit score, utilizing three cards and keeping the credit utilization low. So this individual, Gary, goes on to say, and I kept them at 7% utilization, all at 3% utilization now. My scores have been steadily increasing every month. Equifax is 677 with only two collections left. And Experian is also at 677 with one collection remaining. And then the beautiful 786 on TransUnion with no collections. So you got to go do a little bit more work. But what could you do with the 786, with the 677, with the 677, when you have good credit again, when you're able to get three credit cards after your first round, when you're able to get good credit, to build good credit. I mean, this is a done deal, right? But 
Now, he says, now, as if that weren't enough, my wife has increased her experience score from the low 600s to 729 and very high 600s, very high 600s with Equifax and TransUnion. Him and his wife are going to have excellent credit, stellar credit, 800 credit, okay? They're going to get into the top tier. They're going to be able to travel the world for free. They're going to be able to get their business credit, get their merchant accounts, get their cars, get their homes, get their loans, get whatever it is they need. That credit turns into capital. Okay, so she's got one utility left, one stubborn utility, which we've talked about utilities. You want to check out NCTUE. They're the National Communi Telecommunications Utility. I'll look them up right now and get them to get the thing right. Okay, National Consumer Telecom Utilities Exchange. And I'll put that in the, the deal. If you're dealing with utilities, check them as well. Okay. And we got Combat Vet. He said, sent first round end of January of 2019. Scores went up average 55 points on average across the board. Okay. Great. We're getting questions coming in. If someone's talking about the address. This is great. This is fantastic. John Holiday, after one round, Equifax deleted all the negative items from our report. Went from 438, 438 to 680 as of today using the Beyond Committed Package. Combat Vet sent second round yesterday. This is excellent. Subscribe tribe coming in. Thank you so much. Hit the subscribe button, the bell for notifications for when I go live. Hit, hit up the email list, thesubscribetribe.com. Get on the email list. I just emailed uh, subscribe tribe members so they know I'm going live, so they're going to be coming in. They get in the emails right to their inbox, okay? 609creditpair.com. You can do it for yourself or we can do it for you. Awesome life right here at the awesome life, okay? So Gary goes on to write. She also keeps her utilization about 3%. She has the three cards that she's utilizing, okay? Three revolving accounts. We are expected to blow out that last collection per your suggestions to get her in the mid-700s with the three credit bureaus shortly. I just wanted to let you know, thanks for what you do. You're very good at it. Thanks, Gary, is what he writes. Thank you so much, Gary. Congratulations to you and your wife, your family. This is going to be a generational wealth for you guys. I'm excited for you. Get tight, Jerome. Get in here, Okay. We want this to work for every single person. Everybody's different. Everybody's going to have different results at different times. So if you're going through it, email me. Okay, you're going through it, email me. I'm putting my email in here. Get on the email list. It's a great uh, supplement to 609 Credit Repair and the Awesome Life Group. I'm going to put in the websites. Okay, you can get a hold of me. You can get in touch with me. I'm accessible. I'm making videos for you. We got the emails. We got comments. I want to be here for you. I'm here for you. Let's go through your questions, your answers. Let's knock this stuff out because I know, you know, we're on the weekend. We're fitting in when we can't get in. And uh, I know we got to get back to getting these emails, getting these disputes run. We got to get some printers, some more uh, some printers in here. Okay. So Tiffany was like, dang late. Never get to notice this. Uh, Tiffany, sign up for the email list. You will get notifications right to your inbox. Um, if you haven't already, I'm going to give you this website, uh, subscribe, subscribe.com. Okay, great. Agent against the machine. Hello, Brandon. You the truth. Thank you. You've been ad adding some excellent comments. We appreciate you. Um, Ms. Larkins, big fan, need help bad. Okay. Ms. Larkins, first of all, put your uh, question in there and, and Ms. Larkin, I'm going to give you my email address. Okay. So let's say, you know, you got to jump off the chat or get to or whatever. You're going to have the email. You can get right to me, okay? Cookie12Love says, this is the first time on the chat, wants to get better credit. How's it all work? All that good stuff. Okay. So these individuals that we talked about, they were in the 700s, right? They're boosting. They're up, up close to the uh, 700s or in the 700s. How do they get to the 800s, okay? How do they really do that? Okay, they've got the three accounts. They're keeping the utilization down. What else can they do? They start getting more credit. Yes, it's just for the subscribe tribe. That's just for the people here now, just for the people who are doing it. You know, when you're going through the process, you want to be cautious about getting any hard inquiries. But yes, surprisingly enough, that's how I was able to get more available credit by actually having more credit. It's interesting, right? Just when you have bad credit, you can't get credit. Once you've got good credit, you can get more credit and get better credit, better credit, better credit. So we've talked about that on the live stream before. If you uh, have seen the 800 score, how to get to the 800, at some point you want to get up to 12 
revolving accounts with at least seven of them being big bank, big banks, not just store cards, 12 accounts, seven of them, big banks. Okay. And they want to see they, and they, and this is wild. Okay. They want to see installment loans and in up to, up to five of them. Yeah. Five of them. So, you know, those, you know, car notes, you might've had two car notes, a mortgage, right? You know, that's three, maybe got a self lender. That's four. Okay. Maybe I had some other loan. Okay. Up to five. I'm not saying got to get all five. I'm not saying get it all 12, but that's your goals. Paying that stuff down, getting that on-time payment history and having long history. Okay. Maybe an AU can help with that as well. Okay. So these are some of the things you can do to utilize, to get into those next levels. And what I've noticed is actually using your credit helps a lot more than it just sitting there for you. Being able to manage three, maybe more can help. I've noticed myself when I start paying things off, score comes down, I use it again, it score goes up. So I manage to go up and down. Just normally having good credit, it goes like that. So if you're going through it, going through the process, it can be, you know, not necessarily a linear process. You got a little up and down, but you're going to get there, okay? Push, pushing is ready for some motivation. We're ready. Blackbeard Dave didn't get the email for the live notification, not in my spam either. All right, and you're on the email list, sir. If you're on the email list, interesting. Interesting. I'm checking my because I sent it to myself too. I'm gonna double check that email list. Make sure. Make sure. Let me look at that right now. Okay, says it was sent, so we'll see. We shall see, Blackbeard Dave. Okay, sent my first round of letters, February 23rd. Haven't heard anything trying to stay patient and positive. Marsha, okay, Marsha. You sent them February 23rd, okay? So I'll pull up the calendar right now. That was last Saturday, right? It was Saturday, two Saturdays ago. February 23rd, then you got March 2nd, and now March 9th. So two, two weeks, two weeks, 14 calendar days. They have 30 days from when they get the letters to postmark you a response. So February 23rd, Saturday, you know mail don't run on, on Sunday, right? We all know they're going to play games and just be like, oh, well, we didn't pick it up on Sunday. And you know Monday, we all know, right? They're going to play games. So the post doesn't run on Sundays. So nothing on the, the 24th. 25th, maybe it's getting mailed out. 26, 27, 28. You can look at your certified letters. You can see when they come in. It ain't even been maybe two weeks, okay? So they've got 30 days to postmark you a response. That doesn't mean it has to be in your inbox in 30 days from when they get it. It doesn't mean they have 30 days from when you send it to get it to your inbox from when they get it, they have 30 days to put it in the mail, okay? So it's going to take some time. Stay patient. It's been about a week or so. This is going to be excellent for you, okay? You're doing it. Stay patient. Stay positive because if you think about it, you've talked, to, you've listened to some of these live streams, you've seen some of this stuff where people are getting deletions, they're getting the negative stuff off, they're going through the process. It can take a few months, right? A few rounds. But they're getting those results. It's going to take a little time. But before you had this, you didn't know, right? We didn't know. It could have been years. They try to leave stuff on there for years. They're trying to leave stuff on there for seven years. I ain't having it, okay? So stay positive. Get pumped up because you're going through it. You're going through this process now. Marley, you froze LexisNexis, okay? Do I need my accounting? You need your docket number for your bankruptcies. The docket number, okay? Docket number for the bankruptcies with LexisNexis. This is what you want to do is you want to dispute the bankruptcy with LexisNexis. Then you dispute with the bureaus. You get that nasty, erroneous stuff out. And if you got to, you send a letter to the courts asking them if they send personal profile information, right? Social security stuff and addresses, full address of social security to the bureaus. Now, what they'll say is, well, anyone could look it up. I'm going to say, do you give it to them? They will say no, typically. Okay, typically. Typically, they will say no, and that's where you know, hey, you're not getting it right with it. You're going to some third party trying to look at uh, some portals or something that may not be 100% accurate. And I know this because I've looked at public records before. I have seen the public records, and it is through a portal. It is not through the actual um, 
county or whatever it is, wherever it is, okay? Typically, typically. Lakeisha, you done started right here, right now. Right here is where you're starting, okay? Pull your reports. You want to know how to start. You pull your reports. You see the negative, nasty, erroneous items on there. You get them onto your dispute letters. You can dispute them. You send them out, and you can adjust fire from there. You also got the Beyond Committed Package, so you can send your collection validation letters. At the same time that you send to the bureaus, collection validation letters can go out uh, to the collectors as well, okay? Jonathan, you give great information. Thank you very much, Jonathan. I appreciate you, okay? All right, it's Larkins. That might be a, an issue. You want to make sure you have uh, something to open, right? Uh, an office, an open office, a Word, a, a, a word processing document, PDF document, Adobe Acrobat. Email me and make sure that you can take care of this. Great. I sent my first letters. What do I send in with my second letters? Okay. So if you got some deletions, all you got to do is look at what's on there now. Put the nasty, erroneous stuff that's still on the second round for the second round and put it in there and send that stuff off. As you're getting deletions, it's good. It's good. And you know this stuff will work, okay? My score is 573, sad but true. We're going to get you to the other side, okay, Jonathan? We got you. Brian Wright, that's awesome, man. Yes, absolutely. Make sure you got my email. Okay, Brian Wright, 551, equal facts to 642 in round two. That's fantastic, okay? And look, Cookie, I'll give you my email. Make sure you got it. And ask your questions here as well. That's why I'm here. All right. I get Tim. Email me. Not exactly sure. How do you get what done for you? Okay. How do I get the late payments off my closed accounts? All the accounts have zero balance. Mark, are these closed and charged off? Or are these just closed? A lot of people just say closed, but they know it's charged off. Hey, call it a charge off. It's all good. I'm here to help. Let me know what it is. Okay. And now if it's just closed because you closed it, you want to use it, you got a couple late payments. Hey, you could just dispute the late payments. But if it's closed because it's a charge off, zero balance, you dispute the entire account. You can potentially get the entire account off and dispute that thing. Okay. Okay, Adeline Gabriel. Brandon, I need your help with the student loans. I got the Beyond Committed Package. Tell me, I want to know, what do I freeze when I start in the disputes, all right? You can freeze up SageStream, CoreLogic, LexisNexis, okay? Dispute that, suckers. If you've got negative items in there as well, you can dispute those as well. We'll be freezing these bureaus out all day, every day at theawesomelifegroup.com. Okay, I've been working with the team here. We're working on new repossession stuff. We're working on stuff. We have, the team has been chopping up. We're working hard together. We're working. We're finding all sorts of things and violations. Okay, I need to turn the closed captions on. Is that a possibility on the live stream? I think afterwards, maybe there's a. I'm gonna look into that. Absolutely. Ah, should we update and remove past addresses if current address is different from the disputes? Okay. Bureaus playing games, man. I'm pissed because these bureaus, you know, they know they're supposed to be taking this stuff off. I've got people, I've got an email, and they're saying, hey, you know, it's coming off of one bureau and not the other. I had a call. We had a call. I was watching, listening to the consoles because I'm here, watching them, listening. And somebody was going through the same process with the addresses. And what happened was they, the bureaus come back and they say, well, we can't update your address because, you know, it's attached to some stuff. This is what you do. Should you update and remove your addresses? Not just with the bureaus. And get it tight, Jerome. Get tight. Not too tight. Keep it in focus, brother. Okay? With the addresses, sometimes you're going to have to update them with your current credit card holders. So you got a credit card. You want to make sure to update that as well. So the bureaus will get the update from you and from the credit card companies. Don't let them come back and play games and say, oh, we don't know. Update your address everywhere. So the bureaus have no choice but to update this and delete nasty old outdated, unverified, erroneous, obsolete, un terrible, despicable addresses, okay? I having it. All right. K. 
Kenny Vance. Hey, Brandon, I purchased the Beyond Committed Package, and I've, I have have been following all your steps, and my score has went up. Score has gone up 75 points. 75 points so far. I still do have the Discharge Chapter 13 showing, okay? Check the Lexus Nexus. Now, people have been talking about LCI as the other spot. You don't have to worry about that unless you filed bankruptcy in 2018, late 2018, okay, November 2018. That's still not a huge issue. It is still Lexus Nexus, and our team is still looking at it. We're working at it. We're figuring it out. All right, we got people out here right now working. Work all the time for y'all. We want to make sure this is why you want to come here. The awesome life group.com, or we or you can do it for yourself at 609creditpair.com, which it stuff gets updated. You're getting updates. Get on the subscribe tribe train, get on the subscribe tribe.com, get the email, get on the email list. Okay, you're gonna start working with that, getting better with that. So y'all get the, the notifications. And when we got new videos coming out, or well, Jerome be filming me, right? Jerome's filming me, and we're getting new stuff out, and we're getting good content. And I learn new things about inquiries, repossessions, foreclosures, all this nasty stuff, discharge chapter 13s. And get that right to you ASAP. Okay, so if you're watching now for the first time, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell for notifications. Get on the email list. All this amazing content for you right here. We're doing it live. We got you, okay? Let's see. Yes. Uh, mm, Armstrong, mm, I don't know how to pronounce that. Oh, my opinion about you, Armstrong. Okay, my opinion about you, Armstrong. Can I have rent, utilities, and other monthly bills, monthly bills added to my credit report? Typically, yes. Now you can. Okay, first of all, you can take a look at Experian Boost as a possibility. Supposedly, it's free. Maybe if you feel comfortable giving the bureaus your information to do that, Experian will allow you to do that. Okay. Now, there's also third parties. Okay. Rental Karma, Rent Tracker, Rental, adding rental history uh, to your reports. Okay. So there's some other stuff as well out there that um, can help, right? Um, you can look into them. Rental Karma is one of them, okay? Absolutely. Fantastic. Cell phone, you can, you can use the Experian Boost or you can talk to the cell phone booth. Absolutely. But what I want you to look at, which I want you to continue to look at, is not just those monthly payments, but getting some big trade lines, the 5K trade lines, the My Jewelers Club cards, okay? The New Coast Directs, the Self Lenders, okay? Yes, those are okay. Those are fine. Those are good. But let's get some big revolving accounts. Let's get, let's go big. Okay. Y'all can get these 700 scores that I've been reading about, 800 scores. Okay. You could do this. What's the email to the subscribe tribe? Okay. The subscribe, it's an email list, the subscribe tribe.com. You can get on the list and then we'll email you when I go live. You can also hit me up. My email is in the chat. You can email me directly. Okay. Charles Dexter, our repo is really difficult to remove. We got you, Charles. People can get repossessions removed. Now, they might be a bit more challenging, much like a bankruptcy might be a bit more challenging. You know they're more derogatory. You know repossessions are more derogatory. However, they have to find, they have to have the proper information to keep it and classify it as a repossession. I'm telling you what, I get fired up. I haven't, I got up this morning, just worked. I didn't even get them. I was up late thinking about this stuff. Okay. We are working on new repossession stuff. I need to get some food. Y'all know I'm, I'm so skinny, right? I need to get some food. So, uh, I'm going to get some food here. And after this live stream, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting excited, but you know what we do? We're going to eat up these bureaus. Okay. We got now, now I'm going to eat them up for lunch. So repossessions, no problem. Okay. When there's repossessions, you dispute the negative items with the bureaus. You can dispute with the collectors. We have a repossession deficiency notice where they have to give you the proper verification notification and show you that they sent you that notice that they were going to repossess it, that you could apply and you could go to the auction and you could purchase it yourself. What it was sold for, what the deficiency is, what's the difference, okay? All that stuff has to be in there. Can credit be repaired after medical issues have derailed you and late payments have been the normal for five months yes of course yes you can get 
this stuff squared away. Now, you're worried. You're saying, hey, you know, maybe I was doing well. Then all of a sudden I had a medical issue. I got off the phone with somebody yesterday who had a medical issue. Well, it, was, it was an unfortunate scenario, and they actually were going through repossession, okay? Yes, five monthly on-time missed payments, right? You can dispute those. You can settle uh, this uh, nasty, erroneous stuff with collectors and dispute them. Make them prove that you have uh, signed some documentation. And if it's medical, they got to have HIPAA releases to have your medical information, okay? Okay, so this, thank you for the super chat. Gerald asks, I have two closed charge-offs from First Premier, and I managed to get two new credit cards, but I'm iffy about disputing. Will it affect the new cards? Are your new cards with First Premier? Okay, if not, it probably ain't going to change nothing. You'll be able to keep your cards open, all that good stuff. You can dispute these charge-offs with First Premier and move on with your life, okay? Now, if First Premier are the card holders, then maybe, but maybe not, okay? You might be able to dispute the charge-offs, be okay, and keep it moving. Just be very cautious and very skillful when you put in your account numbers and make sure it's just those account numbers, right? Because if First Premier knows you have two charge-offs and they gave you two credit cards, then you're probably good to go, okay? Let me know. Are the charge-offs with First Premier? I'll look in here for your email. And thank you very much for the super chat. Tango tr trucker tracker. Okay. Vic, good to see you. I knew you'd be on the live stream, brother. I was talking to you yesterday. Manny will be in the office here this afternoon. In fact, he might even be in right now. I might have to take a look because I've been on the live stream and he will be giving you a call, sir. Keep it tight. Everybody keep it tight. Okay, I'm looking for let me know if they're first. Man. I gotta go back to All right, just got your letters ebook. All right, all the good deal. I was able to get two negative items removed out of four so far. Thanks. Just two more to go. Awesome. Three oh five, trucking hard. Thank you very much. Appreciate you, Jennifer. If you're worried, we can do it for you. Okay. Brian Williams, I got 18K removed in first two weeks with letters. Round one, Brian Williams, congratulations. That's good. That's a big swing for you, your family. You can get this negative, nasty junk out of there. And now you're saving all that money, right? Saving all that moolah. Mining your ducats, right? Okay. Kenny Gross, thanks, thanks, thanks. God bless you. My wife and I both hit 700s. She's seven. Six seven, I am seven oh seven. Thank you, thank you, brother. Appreciate you, Kenny Gross. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. And I'm going back through. You know, I apologize because sometimes the chat can be fickle. Okay. And here's the thing: email me if I miss the question. If something's, you know, I want to get to you. So email me. Okay. I apologize if the chat is a little fickle. Jennifer Perez. Okay. Help, I disputed online, then saw your channel and sent the letters the next day. Did I screw up? You're okay. You're okay. Don't be disputing no more online. Don't be Jerome. Don't be like Jerome over here. Disputing online, okay? You do it once, fine. The reason I know is because before I knew, before I started delving into this and getting into this and doing all this stuff, yeah, I tried. I was like, well, maybe, but I don't know, you know? There wasn't really a lot of... Uh, information out there. So I was like, all right, let me try and try it online. And uh, yeah, nothing really didn't really help in it. And it really they really want to make sure that you uh, are online and you're a, you're doing what they want you to do, dispute because they don't they don't say, hey, um, verify this. They don't they don't quote, you know, section 1681, section 611. OK, section 604 for your inquiry, section 609, section uh, whatever it is, they don't put the Fair Credit Reporting Act, right? They don't put verify under the Fair Credit Reporting Act, verify under FACTA, verify under the Fair Debt Collection Practice Act, verify under this, verify that. No, 
they put very simple little things that they like, well, you know, that they're, that's their system. So don't do that. And even so, what I would say, I recommend don't do that. And if you went through a third party, right, like a credit card or something like, come on, they're trying to just get people to utilize their software and their system. And a lot of times when they're free stuff, they'll say, oh, you're pre-approved for something. So you click one of their ads or something like that. Let's focus on the letters. You're going to be okay. Now, if you dispute it online and it's been over 30 days and you sent the letters, great. If you're sending the letters and the disputes are still waiting to come back, now you're going to want to wait, right? Uh, now, that could have been a potential situation. But even still, you wait for your disputes to process. You'll be okay. You send your next round. You're all A-OK, -okay, okay? Thank you very much for the super chat. Chat, Tango Tracker, which is pretty interesting, okay? Let's see. Had voluntary repo and lender sold account that was charged off. Okay, so you you gave the car back. It's considered charge off, you know, boom. File chapter seven, got original lender, still reports accounts at zero, balance, under chapter seven. Yeah, it's nasty stuff, right? So at, you have the chapter seven, you know, you're going through some legal stuff. You say, hey, look, I, I, I'm doing the chapter seven, get everything discharged. Hey, not bad, okay? I've had uh, people who have done that, friends and family, whatever, right? We've, I've seen it before, people do it. We have we have disputed chapter sevens and some chapter sevens have come off, man. But we've had people get bankruptcies off and uh, chapter 13s. We have a video here of a gentleman who disputed his chapter 13 and got it off. People have gotten that stuff off. So you went through it. You got your life back, okay? The zero balance is still sitting there, included with bankruptcy probably, right? Something that is still sitting there. So that's something you can dispute. And you can dispute those accounts prior to disputing your Chapter 7 with the bureaus. Get the accounts underneath the bankruptcy, those included with bankruptcies, and the original lender with the zero balance dispute those suckers, right? As those come off, as those come off, right, then... They have a lot less there to say, well, what is this bankruptcy coming from? They can't utilize other sources to verify. They're going to have to go to the original instrument, the in original furnisher of that information. Okay. Same thing with LexisNexis. Get out of LexisNexis and get them to not have any way to quote unquote verify because they'll even say on their reports, oh, we verified with LexisNexis, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Then you can dispute your chapter seven. So go after that original lender still reporting the zero balance included with bankruptcy. All right. Now, can they? They do. Should they know, right? Should be done deal. They shouldn't be doing a double whammy. In fact, I have a buddy out there who um, they filed a Chapter 7 prior to missing any payments, but all the creditors, all of them wanted to ding this person 30 days. It's late. And so now they got late payments on top of the Chapter 7. It's ridiculous. That's stuff that we are going to dispute and challenge and get this nasty stuff out of there, okay? So I appreciate you and your super chat. Virginia, feel free to email me. I'll make sure my email is up there. Excellent. Jennifer, excellent. Trying to buy a house for two boys. Excellent. When purchasing a home, and I'm not a you know expert on everyone's situation when purchasing a home. Getting a good score is excellent. It's good. Okay. It's fantastic. It's part of the process. Also, make sure your debt to income ratio is correct and your income is solid for your returns. So they when they look at your returns and they're like, okay, cool, you can afford this home. Because good credit alone may or may not get you in that home, right? For the most part, you're good when they do those fast and easy loans, right? Where they're looking at your credit, you're good to go. Okay. But they might want income verification, all that stuff. So people will be up in the 700s, they're ready to rock and roll, and they're like, oh, well, we need to see two years of you know, uh, your income or whatnot, right? So that's a little chip secret, whatever. You know, you you work with your finance or financial advisors and institutions and your accountants and all that stuff, okay? And figure that out what's right for you for your loan. Now, FHA, I think you can get a 580 loan, right? Um, some people are getting, I, I, I was, we were on the live stream maybe a week or two ago, and I said, people are getting homes, Put up your interest rates and what credit score you had to get those interest rates. And then, Jennifer, you'll know what it is. That's why the subscribe shop is here. So hopefully they'll do that again here. Pardon me. I'm going to have to sneeze. <coughs> mm. <sighs> allergic to the credit bureau's nonsense is what I'm allergic to up in here, okay? All right.
Tim. Email me. Jot down a few notes. Okay, Marcel Carson, when I'm disputing a charge off, it's an auto loan, another auto loan, with my original creditor, do I just send the 609 dispute letter or do I have to word the letter differently? Okay, so first of all, the dispute letter only goes to the bureaus, okay? So don't worry about the original individuals now. However, the collector, there's a collector, which I'm guessing because it's a charge off, you can send your collection validation letters in, and you can utilize our special repossession letter, assuming that it was repossessed. It might not have been. It might just be a charge-off. It might not be classified as a repossession. As we discussed, they have to have the exact documentation to classify it as a repossession. Hmm. Kenya, why would Equifax be holding the dispute results? Dispute ended February 14th but nothing was mailed. I requested they send that and another report, still nothing. I don't know what's going on. Ah, interesting. Yeah, I mean, you gotta remember these bureaus get like thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of disputes every day, every day. So there's gonna be a little, sometimes they forget or they don't respond. We have a non-response letter, okay? Our Beyond Committed Package. Make sure that um, you get that non-response letter out. You can file your complaint with the CFPB. As we discussed in the beginning, the filing the complaint with the CFPB really helped this individual as well on the live stream and the email, okay? RJ22, uh, RJ, my score is 711, and it's been uh, kind of staying there for two months. What gives? Well, you're, you're good. Depends on what else you have, okay? Um. Yeah, I'll have to check to see what else you have. But uh, Blackbeard Dave, okay, I actually just received the email. Good. Got the email from the email list. Excellent. So if you've been here this long, hopefully you got the email from the email list. If anybody got the email from the email list as well, please let me know. And if you're not on the email list, thesubscribetribe.com, where we're going to go live. We're going to go live more often. I've done live streams where I've done during the week. We'll do on the weekends. We'll do at nights. We'll do whatever. Okay, we'll get to you. This video is helping you out. You're watching the replay. Please give a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell for notifications as well. Okay. Make sure you get the notifications, even if you are on the email list, because the email list um, is going to be a bit, you know, more solid. But you may, maybe you're not on your email. You get the push notification for the the notification of the bell. You can do this work for yourself. 609creditpair.com. All right. We can do it for you at theawesomelifegroup.com. RJ, perhaps you need to add some more good positive trade lines, some good history. Depends what you got. Let me know what's going on, okay? Crystal Selby, okay. So like I said, it's not a linear process. Score is going to kind of go up like this, okay? My score, even when I utilize my credit, goes up and down every month, which is ridiculous. But as I pay it off, it comes down a little bit. I use it when it goes up. It's weird, but it's still excellent, so it's not a big deal, okay? Uh, Walter, my Capital One credit-wise reported to me a credit increase of 39 points now, a score of 703. Congratulations, Walter. Appreciate it. All right. Uh, Natasha. Natasha just got the email as well. Excellent. Yes, so a couple of people want my email. My email is in here. Okay, it's in the chat. Keep it moving here. Courtney, are you using our specific 
inquire removal letters. It says it's uh, not the same letter as the collection validation letter I sent. No, no, no. You need the specific uh, 604 letters for the inquiries, okay? Yeah, these inquiries do not have a counseling team, exactly. But you want to make sure you're utilizing the special inquiry letters, okay? Let's see here. Um, I just really appreciate your program and sent my first round of letters a month or two ago for two accounts. All right, they're putting a little pushback. You can send your next round. Also, look, if you have the collection validation letters, send the collection validation letters out, okay? But they said they closed the accounts, okay? I've seen this happen before. They're open, all of a sudden they're closed. It's part of the process, you'll see that, and then you send your next disputes, and they start to, like little dominoes, okay? They can come off, all right, sorry, we have someone. Oh, I don't understand how they, different language on here, okay. All right, okay. Nice. Tiffany Williams. I got the Beyond Committed package, sent the first round of dispute letters this past Monday. TransUnion deleted one of the items on Wednesday. Score went up 18 points. Congratulations, Tiffany Williams. I feel like maybe, yeah, I think we've worked together, right, Tiffany? Maybe we got an email or two. I apologize. I've got a good amount of emails. I receive a collection letter from a, okay, uh, what dispute letter do I have to send to them? Collection attorney. Okay, don't worry, Doris. It's pretty much the same situation. I've said this before. If they're just trying to collect a debt, they haven't gone through the court system, they haven't done anything, a lot of times they'll use an attorney to collect to scare people, to frighten them, to worry them, to be like, oh my God, what do I do? Same deal. You can send a validation letter to them. You can dispute with the bureaus. You are good to go. You can hang in there, okay? Don't let these guys fool you or intimidate you or anything of that nature. They're the same, similar collectors. They had to buy by the Fair Debt Collection Practice Act, Fair Credit Reporting Act, okay? Alan, hey, I just joined the live. What did I miss? Alan Barley. Uh, missed the, some, some testimonials, some good information, some stuff, building credit, all that good stuff. You know, if you get a chance, please watch the replay, okay? And if you want, jump on that subscribeshop.com, get on the email list so you can jump on live and... Uh, Make it on time to the lab if you can. Let's see. Cindy wants to buy a house. Email me. I know you've got some accounts, but I'm not sure what you're saying. You have 23 active accounts. Your score is low, but I don't know if what what's negative and what is positive. We do help with business funding, okay? Um, Geraldo, all right. Forming an LLC is typically a lawyer, Geraldo. You'll need an incorporating expert lawyer, yes. Hey, Brandon, I spoke with Greg from Awesome Life Group, LLC. I'll be starting the process shortly. Appreciate you self-made. We like it. And uh, I can get approved for a secure card. What else can I do to get history? Oh, I can't get approved for a secure card. Okay. Um, secure cards are funny. Sometimes you got to get approved. My Jewelers Club card is cool to start with as well. A use and, and self-lender. Okay. I'm just trying to make sure I get to everybody's question here. A lot of good questions. This is great. Man, you paid off your mortgage 2017. Congratulations. Sheena just got two late payments to get rid of, basically. Two late payments to update is positive. Look, you can dispute just those late payments with the bureaus. Okay. It may take some time. It may take three or four rounds. It may be you may be a little pushback. You might have to complain, that kind of stuff. So what I what I say to that is because if you do the goodwill route, which you could because you paid it off. You might still have to fight. You might have to go two or three rounds. You might have to call and complain. Some people will do goodwill letters, send one letter and be like, oh, well, you know, goodwill, man, it didn't work. No. Uh, when I was doing goodwill, when I was doing it for myself, I sent a few letters. I sent a couple calls. I did it. It was worth it. The few months that I put into it has paid dividends years back on my life. 
Geraldo, thank you very much. Do you guys help with forming an LLC? That's what I was saying. The LLC is typically a lawyer, an incorporating lawyer. That's a legal situation, filing stuff with the state and all that stuff, forming an LLC. However, we do help with business funding once you have your LLC, depending if it's a corporation or not. Is it relevant, right? It can still be an LLC. And we can help you with business funding and setting up no personal guarantee business credit. We are building out our business credit wing as well. We've been doing it for a while. And I will give you our uh, business credit website. We have a very specific business credit website where we can do this for you. Um, this is excellent. We are, and I'm glad that you asked because I just talked to, I'm just in the office here with my partner and um, that out there. And we are uh, expanding and making sure that we are going to be um, being very specific about our business funding. We're going to look for new avenues of business funding. We're going to start building that out as well. So uh, we do do it now, and it's going to get even better above and beyond breaking all barriers, okay? Moving beyond, okay? I got the email for alert. Great. Nicole, Henry, thank you for being on the email list for the Subscribe Tribe. Appreciate you. Um, with Flying Colors, where do you – okay, let me give you the – so you can sign up. Email. Glad you're getting the emails. Excellent. Thank you for opening them up. Yeah. Natasha, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, if someone else out there, they, you know, they didn't help you out, whatever. We're here to help you out right now. You know, you have questions now, I can help you out now. I'm going to give you my email address, all this good stuff. We're going to get you on the road to recovery. Okay. And then if you want to do it yourself, 609creditrepair.com, or we could do it for you if you absolutely needed to. Okay. All right. I'm a big proponent of individuals learning this process, doing it for themselves, being able to take back control of their lives. And because I get calls and emails where people are not sure. They're not sure what, what they need and what they don't need and all this stuff. It's important that you do because moving forward, keeping your credit history great, moving forward with your life, having that stability and understanding, hey, this is how I manage credit and I'm going to teach my family or children or whomever, the mentor or all this stuff, is going to pay dividends to you. Okay, So you won't have anybody out there pulling the wool over your eyes. Like when I go into a car dealership, I know that I'm going to be pulling the wool over my eyes, being like, oh, we, we, you know, we can, you know, do this contract and see if we can get you a better rate and all this. No, it's nonsense. Okay. I'm not going to go into the home buying process and be going looking for these financing. And no, I'm going to have all these people bidding on uh, my good credit and want me to get, you know, lend, lend to me the lowest, right? By, by educating myself. So by educating yourself here, learning the process, learning from wherever, whatever, right? You're going to be able to move forward with your life and not have anybody out there hold anything over you. So when people are saying like, I'm not really sure what, or, you know, what can you do or what you are going to be the answer. I'm going to help you become the answer to fix your own problems in, with whatever credit situation you have. You got my email, you got 609creditpair.com. We can do it for you if you need to, but we also teach you the process too. When, we're, when you're going through the process, you learn all this stuff that we teach right here on the videos at theawesomelifegroup.com. We can send out the disputes for you, help you, get you squared away, and get on the subscribetribe.com so you get the email, you get all this stuff into your inbox. We're doing the live stream right now, but pretty soon we'll probably have some insider stuff right to your inbox so you know what's coming out potentially before anyone else, right? Just for the tribe, just for the subscribe tribe. So, But we're going to work with that, okay? So hit me up in the email. We're going to go through some more of your questions as well. Hey, Montana, a.k.a. Spark Wisdom. Good to see you. Shout out to Mon. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Spark Wisdom. I'm going to go with Spark Wisdom. Montina. Montina, Montina, Montina. I want to make sure I pronounce Spark Wisdom. I'm going to go with Spark Wisdom. Uh, shout out to Spark Wisdom. She's a great client of ours. Also has another wonderful channel here. Thank you so much. She has uh, sung our praises, and I really appreciate her being so positive, giving us the opportunity to uh, help her, educate her. Uh, she's done excellent as well. So thank you so much for being here on the live the stream and the live chat and supporting us. I think it goes, uh, it speaks volumes that we can help one another and, uh, you know, 
be here as a tribe together. So this is fantastic. Thank you very much. I'm glad I almost overlooked your comment. I mean, this, this chat is fantastic, but sometimes it can be a little challenging. In fact, I potentially might need to get a bigger computer to make sure I can see everybody's stuff. Okay. But let's, let's get back into your questions. And thank you very much for being here. Spark wisdom. Appreciate you. Sparking that wisdom. I like it. Sneezing on the truth. I just, yeah. Allergic, allergic. All right. Thank you very much. Bless you too. I think from the sneeze. Huh? Everybody's saying bless you. Thank you from the sneeze. I tell you, this chat is uh, sometimes a little slower. Okay. Yes. Can I send a validation letter to the collectors of Navient for student loans and then to the three bureaus? Yes, absolutely. Butter pecan. Let's set something up. Okay. Very loyal. Subscribe tribe members. But hire the credit bureaus. Uh, will you dispute the three? Urban. Uh, we can dispute the main three bureaus. We have other three that we freeze and update personal profile information. We can dispute with them as well if necessary. You'd have to just, you know, let us know if you've got some other nasty, erroneous things out there in CoreLogic or LexisNexis like evictions. If we see that, we can touch base with you about that, okay? Going back through. <clears throat> Is there a limit that we should dispute if we have a lot of negative items? Okay, first of all, T. Jackson, if you're including your inquiries <clears throat> in that list, those go on special inquiry dispute letters, okay? So hard inquiries aside, if you've got a lot of charge-offs and collections and bankruptcy, all this stuff, for the most part, for the most part, you can dispute them all at once. Typically, most people aren't going over 20 or whatever, right? You've got to think about it as a consumer. If you're a consumer, you're pulling your report and you've seen all these negative in inaccurate, unverified accounts, would, you know, would you just wait? Would somebody just wait and be like, well, you know, these are, I know these are inaccurate, unverified and, you know, but I, I'm just going to wait till, no, you're going to do it now. Your credit press starts now. So you can dispute this stuff now. However, if it starts getting like you have a, a, a tremendous amount, for some reason you have 30, 40, 50 on one bureau, which is incredibly rare, then you might want to break it up because not only would it start to look a little like you, you're not sure what you're doing, but there might be a lot of double reporting, okay? And that's what I've seen <clears throat> when I saw it myself. Um, I had a couple of things that were double reported, okay? So I was like, what the heck is this? So even though I put it on there twice, which is fine, and I was in within kind of my limitation, uh, if you start having like three, four, five, that might be a thing where you send something right to the collector or the creditor and tell them to get this stuff off and complain right away. Don't even worry about the bureaus because you get it done a lot quicker, right? But that's a very specific scenario. So I need to, you know, I need to know your specific scenario. You can dispute with the 609 dispute letters to LexisNexis, okay? 609, 611, 1681, 604, we've got them all. And you can send your stuff that you need to to LexisNexis. Yes, you have the freeze letter and you have the dispute letters. You can send your dispute letters to 609creditrepair.com. Uh, under the Fair Credit Reporting Act, LexisNexis and the Fair Credit Reporting Act, okay? Jamal Scott, Jamal, wait, hold on. Jamila, Jamila Scott, okay. Sent round two letters off to today, oh, sent, to, sent off today, okay, sent the round two letters off this Saturday. Uh, so far, I have 23 point increase with two collections removed. Congratulations, that is amazing. She goes on to ask, does call on the Bureau speed up the credit reporting? Uh, I need a 30, 33 more point, 33 point increase to approve for your apartment. 33 more points. 33 more points or 33 total points. So you need another 10 points. I'm not really sure. Would it speed up the reporting process? Probably not. <laughs> Have you ever called the bureaus? It's, they usually transfer you overseas and all that stuff. If you need a little boost, maybe AU trade line for a period of time for those that so you can get your apartment. You're good to go. All right. Um, you have my email as well, so make sure hit me up, okay? American Express, why is one? Okay, I need to know more about your Amex and what's going on with that. So I'm going to give you my email. Why is one of God? Email me. 
exactly know what's going on. Jamil, Jamal Jackson had to step away. Uh, you can ask your question again. Let's see. Shot town, shot town in the house. Nice. I love your channel. You've inspired me uh, from, oh, you inspired me from the jump. jump Hi, I love your channel. You've inspired me from jump. My score went up four points today. Okay. I love your channel. You've inspired me from the jump. My score went up four points today, 704, but started in the low 500s, from low 500s, okay? So you're in the low 500s. You're up in the 700. You got a few more points today. Great. Here's the truth is what Pretty Bunny says. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right. I'm trying to see. Get this. Get these questions in. Can the 609 letters be used for dismiss bankruptcy, Vincent? Yes. As part of the package, we have a special dismissed bankruptcy letter. Excuse me. <clears throat> getting, getting allergic to you, Jerome. I'm just kidding. You've got a cat now, Jerome? What you got? What you got? Well, I'm allergic to you. I told you no cat. No. It's fine. You can have a cat, Jerome. Ain't nobody trying to mess with you, Jerome. I'm just playing, Jerome. Relax. Relax. Don't get so sensitive, Jerome. Okay. So we got the dismissed BK letter. And um, I'm pulling this up right now so I can read it to you. Because uh, some individuals may not get, you know, on the live stream, we can go a little long, right? We can get to talking. We can go hour or what on. And, um, I bring it up occasionally. But, you know, some people don't get to see it all the time. So let me make sure that, you know, with the dismissed bankruptcy. Okay. So uh, it, it, is, it goes on pretty lengthy. So I'm going to just pick out things. Uh, we quote section 1618A5 of the Fair Credit Reporting Act that you delete from the credit report. Okay, so this would go. I know for a fact your company receives information bankruptcy from third party systems. Um, they're not 100% accurate. The Fair Credit Reporting Act mentions nothing in section 1681C relating to bankruptcy without dismissals or filings. Uh, it's very clear that dates from the date of injunction or date of order of relief it is only fair that in accordance with Section 1618A5 of the Fair Credit Reporting Act, you delete this from a credit report and send me an updated report, an updated copy. OK, and it, there's a lot more in there. It talks about filed dismissed bankruptcy and some of this stuff, um, things that are not considered to be even public record in the eyes of the law as it was uh, dismissed. How could it possibly be in the eyes of the bureaus considered legal? Right. So. Very specific. You could send the 609 dispute letter in to dispute that, and you can use the dismissed bankruptcy letter, okay? You can use both, okay? Now, we're coming up to it, okay? Maybe do a question or two more. I appreciate you all being on this live stream. I appreciate you all so very much. We have a very nice big tribe here. It's because you guys are so positive. You guys make the effort. You are the ones that are changing your life. I am helping here to facilitate that. The team here has helped to facilitate that. But at the end of the day, you are the one signing up at 609creditpair.com to change your life. You are the one signing up at the Awesome Life Group for us to do it. You are the one signing up at the subscribetribe.com to get on the email list so I can email you all this pertinent information and get you these notifications, okay? We're building that out. We're building out the business credit. I created that because I know people want the business credit, okay? We are here for you. This is our tribe together. So please give yourself a thumbs up on this. Hit the subscribe button. Hit this bell for notifications. Become, ingrain yourself with this because it is going to pay dividends. People here and all through this live chat and this live stream, we've been talking about people getting up in the 700s, people going from 600 to 700, people going from 500 to 600 to 700. You could potentially be the next person, okay? You have that ability. It is with you, okay? Now. Latoya Wyman, let me make sure you have my email. Karen. Voluntary repossession. Yes, you can dispute it. Voluntary return my car in 2015. It's my credit as a charge off. Please help. Yes, you can dispute that. Okay. Latoya, I think I I think I saw this this morning, Latoya. Okay. 
Wow. Thank you very much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Thank you for being so generous. That's amazing. Thank you very much. The tribe is phenomenal. I'm a little blown away. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, pretty bunny. I appreciate it. And thank you for, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. And again, you have my email. Um, you have my email. You all know how to get in touch with me. I'm going to do another live stream with you absolutely next weekend. Okay. I'm going to log off now. <laughs> Like I said, man, I gotta get some. I gotta get a little food, man. I gotta get my lunch breaks. My it's nothing but credit repair. I gotta eat once in a while, all right? Me and Jerome are gonna get some lunch. Um, thank you very much, Miss Waters. I appreciate you. You deserve the best as well. You all deserve the best. We all deserve the best. And that's what I want for you. I was right where you were before. If you're watching this, you're going through it. I've been through this. I've been through it. It was awful. Getting to the other side is wonderful. Okay. So I want the very best for you. Go enjoy your weekends, okay? You know your boy will be in the office working, okay? And I'm going to get a little food. I'm going to get a little rest too, okay? So don't worry about me, okay? But thank you so much. You know until I see you on the next live stream, right? I'm going to see you on the next live stream. But um, you go eat and feed your own. Enjoy. Give yourself a thumbs up. I love you very much. All of you so very much. Thank you too, so much for the subscribe tribe. Without further ado, I'll let you all enjoy your weekend, okay? So until I see you in person. I will see you on the other side. Take care. Thank you.